Guys, we are back at Bush Gardens Tampa. It is time for a new food festival. It's Beer Fest. So they got food, they got drink. It's gonna be a good time. Now, when you're entering indoors, it says you are entering an indoor area. Face coverings are recommended for all guests. So at Disney, they're like enforced. You, like you have to wear a mask when you're going indoors, but places like Universal and Bush Gardens, it's just recommended. So Beer Fest is always one of my favorite little festivals that Bush Gardens Tampa has. It goes from August 13th until October 31st. So it kind of like over overlap the two other events. So there's like the summer fest going on right now. Like remember those awesome fireworks that I filmed last time I was here. So that's happening I think until September 3rd. So if you come early enough during the beer fest, it overlaps. And then beer fest is during the entire Hollow Scream. So you know Allison and I will be there on opening day for Hollow Scream. So it's time to go to the food booth area. Let's look at the map. So they have 20 different food and drink locations. You ready to have some drinks, Keith? It's a hot day. Yeah, it's a hot day. And here we are. We've entered into the Bush Garden. Gardens Beer Fest area. Okay, it is time to start eating. The first place we're gonna be going is the Garden Gate Cafe. All right, so guys, first off, this is what I got to drink. So I got the Sailor Jerry Rum Punch. All right, let's start with the drink. Oh, it's not like overpowering with the peach. It's like a subtle peach slushy, And then you get a little hint of the alcohol in there. I think I'll do 7.5 on that one. And then I also got the Bavarian pretzel sticks, IPA mustard with a bacon onion jam. All right, now let's, oh, these pretzel sticks are hot. Oh my God. Mmm. Well, I just had the onion jam with the pretzel stick. You get like the sweetness from the onion jam and then the saltiness from the pretzel. Then you get the little hints of the smokiness from like bacon in there. That's some good stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, Bush Gardens. All right, let's try the IPA mustard. Now, I'm not really a fan of beer. I like beer cheese, but I don't really care for that. I think if you like IPAs, it's got an interesting aftertaste. I really like the onion jam. The onion jam is good. And I'll say the pretzel stick and the onion jam, 8.5. It's like a warm and soft pretzel. It tastes super fresh, wow. Then I got the Moho Roasted Heritage Pork Nachos, Blue Corn Chips, Pepper Jack Monterey, Avocado Crema with a pickled onion. Let's try these nachos. But you get a fat, smokiness flavor from the pork, then the tortilla chip, and then the crema. I don't know if the concoction mixes very well. Let me eat a little more of that. All right, run down, we finish the nachos. Nah, I really like the pork that's on there, but every, all the ingredients together. I think I'd pass on the nachos, but I would definitely get those pretzels again. All right, so nachos, we'll do, we'll do a, a 6.5. There's good stuff in there, but it just doesn't hit the, the high note. Oh, but that onion jam, ooh. Now when you go to Epcot and you have their pretzels, they're always kind of like stale and kind of dried out. That's a perfectly cooked pretzel. I, I can't get over it. All right, the next little stand we're going to is the Jack Daniels Whiskey Hut. We got the Tennessee Fire Berry Mule. It's gonna be Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire Whiskey, Amaretto, fresh juices with ginger beer. All right, first off, let's try the drink. Ooh, ooh, it's like a sweet honey. I like that. Okay, the fireberry mule. Yeah, you're getting subtle hints of the berry with like honey and a little bit of like ginger. This is a, a nine, nine out of 10 drink right here. And then we also got the Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire Whiskey Beignets dusted with powdered sugar. All right, so let's put the Jack Daniels in there. I've never had a Jack Daniels soaked beignet. Right, let's try the beignets. Now in the past, the beignets have been interesting here, right? But these look very different than how they normally are. All right, let's see how it is with the Jack Daniels in it. I don't know how I feel about the Jack Daniels in there though. You're getting like a heat from the Jack Daniels inside the beignet. All right, I think that's the best beignet that Bush Gardens has produced. Solid beignet, the ones, like I said, the ones in the past really weren't that good. These are an improvement. Uh, I think we'll do a 7.5 for these beignets, but uh, the mule is uh, where it's at. So one of the things that I always love that Bush Gardens does is they have live music, but it's uh, currently thundering and lightning out, so they can't have the live music right now. Normally we would be here for the 3.30 showing. We'll stop by again at five, to see if the weather's cleared up. Oh, you can surely smell all the flamingos today. They Smell very majestic. Keith, how would you describe the smell of flamingos? Seafood. Seafood? <laughs> now, if you've never been to Bush Gardens, it's like its own little like animal kingdom. There's just animals everywhere. Here's a cute little toucan. Oh, this really creeped me out. I'm guessing they put this here for hollow screams. Um, so we're in the Sesame Street area, okay? So it's just be like cute and cuddly. And you're like, oh, what's that silhouette we're looking at? And then bam, you got Salad Fingers Man right there. That is so creepy. Oh, they got an another one over here. But what is going on uh, down there? That's his, his tail, right? It's like a, a moose man. And they got some golem looking one over here. And they got another creepy guy back there. And then here's another like moose man silhouette. Now if you've never been here for Hollow Screams, it's lit. It's like the entire park. People like hide like in ghillie suits, like in the bushes. And now we want to be like riding roller coasters right now, but there's lightning in the area. And the thing about Bush Gardens is almost every single one of the rides is outdoors. So when it is lightning, everything kind of like shuts down. 
So hopefully the lightning will end soon. Thor, please stop it, man. They set up some of the skulls out here by Shikra. You can see the little baby orangutan over there. The mom's right over there, but the little baby's right there. Oh, he's so cute. So it says that orangutans are seven times stronger than the average human, or about 14 times stronger than me. I'm always just so fascinated every time I come here just to watch the orangutans. It's crazy to watch that little one grow up. He's so much bigger than the last time I saw him. Uh, over by Falcon's Fury, remember last time I was like crying on that ride. But uh, they have a key lime cider at the Twisted Tails Pretzel. I uh, love me a good cider. They have like this like deep fried chocolate spicy dough thing. They're making me a fresh one. All right, let's try the key lime cider. You know, I'm not like punched with the key lime like that a lot of key lime things have. You just get overwhelmed with the key lime. This almost just tastes like more of like an apple cider with just a sl subtle little hints of the key lime. More of like a toned down, more light and smooth angry orchard. I think I'm gonna do 8.5 on the uh, key lime cider. Oh guys, the, uh, the tropical storm is here now. Weatherman Keith, what's going on outside? Hurricane! <laughs> This is the work of art we've been waiting for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mary, what is a twisted mole? A what? It's, it's called a twisted mole. That's what it's called. <laughs> this is a twisted mole? Mole, yeah. Mole. Like in the ground. Why like is it called? Like a twisted mole? <laughs> Let's go for it. Okay, we're in the middle of a monsoon right now. The wonderful uh, ambassadors here made me one, a twisted mole fresh. And they said, you want chili pepper on the side? I said, sure, why not? So there's a... <laughs> I have no idea what the it's a deep fried stick of uh, of something. It looks good. It's covered in chocolate and uh, chili flakes. So I know there's stuff on me, but it doesn't taste like a donut. It kind of tastes like a loaf of like sourdough bread with like chocolate sauce on it. Let's try it with the, the chili flakes. Chili flakes give it a kick and it's kind of like cooled off by the chocolate sauce. But the bread just kind of tastes like, like, look at it. It's nice and fluffy, but it doesn't taste like a donut. It tastes kind of like a baguette or something. All right, we just finished the uh, the twisted uh, mole. I, I was working with the uh, with the culinary team there. I was like, there needs to be like sugar or cinnamon or something. So we added that on top. So when it's chocolate with cinnamon and like the chili flakes, it's like this like sweet, spicy chocolate bread. And it's, it's really good when you add the cinnamon and sugar to it. I think I'll do like a seven out of 10 on the twisted mole. All right, since it's uh, raining, we're going iPhone cam right now. So we're in another little scare zone that they're setting up. There are all these like spooky doors. Guys, 
says, look at this fact. A human should eat nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Asian elephants can eat over 100 pounds of vegetables a day. Now we're heading to the Serengeti Overlook. Now we're going to go to the giraffe bar. This is one of my favorite places to go because you can just sit there, eat your food, have a drink, and then watch giraffes. This is what is in the posh puffin that I got up here at the giraffe bar. It's going to be Raycos Small Batch Icelandic Vodka Frozen Watermelon. The vodka and watermelon, you can't go wrong with that. Oh, whoa. I don't even like taste the vodka, it just tastes like a straight, like a watermelon juice slushy. Not like a, your fake watermelon flavoring, just like a watermelon juice slushy. That's what it tastes like. If you're a fan of watermelon, it's like a nine out of 10. What, a theme park with a working train system in Florida? What? Hi, everybody is waiting in line wishing that cheetah hunt will reopen. I saw some lightning, so it's gonna be kind of iffy if it reopens. Uh, the next stand we're gonna go to is the Kraft and Heinz stand. Now, I'm really excited about this. Uh, with my dyslexia, I read this a little wrong. Uh, so it's the Rainbow Philly Cheesecake. It almost looks like, you know when you're a kid and you built like those uh, multicolored like sand art things? That's what it looks like. All right, let's try this uh, cheesecake first. Yeah, that's cheesecake. It's fun and colorful. I would give it, Maybe a 6.5. Like, it's a good cheesecake, but it's nothing like wows me. I enjoy the design. I think the design is a lot of fun. I think kids are gonna love it. And then guys, we also got the the Loco Goat Mac and Cheese. Kraft Mac and Cheese, Applewood Bacon, Chicharron Crumbs with goat cheese. Big, thick, hefty noodles. So you get like the, kind of the standard Kraft Mac and Cheese. Then you get like a pop of the goat cheese, I feel in there. And then like a subtle hint of the smokiness from the bacon. I don't think it beats, they had, it was this like candied bacon that they had at, at another festival. That was like 10 out of 10 incredible. I think this is good, but it's not up to where that like candied bacon mac and cheese was. For both of those, I think I'll do like a seven out of 10. When I was eating the rainbow cheesecake, visually I was like, wait, am I eating Play-Doh right now? But then you eat it, it's like, oh wait, I'm eating cheesecake. All right, the next stand we're going to is barley and cream. All right, so the next thing we got is the mango nada cocktail explosion. Fresh carved pineapple mango nata, mango soft serve, chamoy with tahim on top. Now tahim seasoning with fresh cut pineapple is just insane. So you get a sweetness, almost like a strawberry or a cherry from the sauce on top. Then you get a little kick from the tahim, and then you get like that soft, fresh cut, juicy pineapple. And then you get like this like wonderful chilled mango slushy underneath. On a hot day, oh my gosh, this thing is great. I think we'll do like a nine out of 10. All right, I'm getting so full. We're gonna go to our last cart. We're gonna go into the Sam Adams Bites. It's time for the final thing of the beer fest. I'm just so stuffed when like YouTubers come to these like food festivals, we don't eat beforehand. We just like gorge ourselves and then we go home and just collapse because we're in like a food coma. So I got the German chocolate cake parfait. It looks like pecans on top with coconut shavings and chocolate cake and um, icing in between. Let's see how it is. I like the frosting. It's like a good buttercream frosting, but then you got the coconut and the pecans in there. I feel like this one isn't for everyone. And it looks kind of, it reminds me of like, like a Heath bar kind of with like the nuts and a little bit of chocolate. I think there needs to be less pecans and coconuts on top for it being called like a chocolate cake parfait. You really don't taste much chocolate cake. You're just tasting all the coconut and the nuts. I think I'd do a six out of 10 on this. I wouldn't get this again. I would get that rainbow cheesecake over this. I just think there's too much coconut stuff going on. You can't enjoy that moist cake that's in there. I like this backdrop they have for a little photo spot. They got like hardwood right there, the fake plants. All right, so here's a little rundown of everything they have offering at Bush Gardens. They got Summer Night, that goes till the 6th. And then right now we got the Beer Fest and then Hollow Scream and the Beer Fest end at the same time. They kind of overlap each other. And then it goes to Sesame Street Kids Weekend. And then Bush Gardens Christmas Town. Thanks for visiting Bush Gardens. I don't think any of the coasters are gonna reopen, so we're just gonna head out. It's gonna be two hours of traffic heading back to Orlando though. Now my car is kind of acting up. So I hopefully I make it home safely, but uh, all right, Keith, what just happened while we're walking out? They um had the ride track on, and I can't go on. We just saw somebody, a whole bunch of people go by on Cheetah Hunt. We've been waiting like six hours for the rides to come back, and it's, of course, as soon as they're leaving and going to our car, they reopen the ride. But uh, we'll be back to go ride the rides. Eventually. Okay, so guys, we are back at home. Yes, I made it home safe and sound, but my car on the other hand. Yeah. A uh, little rundown, I guess, while I was driving to Tampa, uh, something punctured the radiator, 
and then the head gasket went bad within the engine, which means you have to replace the engine because it costs so much. And then some other things were wrong with the car. So this is this is where we're at right now. This is life, everyone. Um, pretty much would cost more than what my car is worth now. So I'm gonna look for a new car now and I will be having to Uber everywhere. So I will keep you updated on a what swagger wagon. I pick out. This is just what happens in life. You just gotta roll with the punches. It's crazy because I've had that car. I bought it senior year of high school. So it's like, it's like a part of me, man. And it's sad to see it hurting, but you also gotta know when to cut ties with it. I think it's about that time, yes. So uh, let's go back to the uh, Bush Garden stuff. I always really enjoy their food festival. Now, is it an event that you need to rush to right now? Eh, I would honestly wait for when Hollow Scream happens. Go to Bush Gardens enjoy the rides, the roller coasters, go and eat the food during the day, and then when the nighttime happens, go and enjoy Howl's Screams. It's a lot of fun. Don't expect like Halloween Horror Nights, but expect a fun theme park, like spooky vibe. It, it's a lot of fun. So we will be back at Busch Gardens. Uh, let me get my calendar here. Okay, uh, we will be back September 10th. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, so we'll be back for Hollow Screams at Busch Gardens on September 10th, and then September 11th, then we have Hollow Screams at SeaWorld. A crazy schedule with all the like local haunts and everything coming up. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Please stay safe and I will see you all on Friday. Bye. It's a little rainy, but how's the cider? Is it up to your fruity apple goodness?